All right, continuing along on your purple belt sheet. Technique number three is known as leaping crane. Uh, obviously in this technique, uh, as you can tell by the title, uh, leaping crane means that we are going to be uh, leaping, if you will, into a crane stance. Um, it's not really a leap. Uh, in the olden days, uh, the movement was a little more, um, not flowery, but a little more embellished where they did this kind of thing. Uh, we don't really need to do that now. We're just going to step off, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So his leg is back in a fighting stance, and the attack is a step through straight punch. Okay, so that's that's what's coming at me. Okay, so my first move, footwork wise, is I want to get out of the way of this attack. So I'm going to step with my left foot to about 10 o'clock, 10:30, and what this will do is this will take me off the line of the attack. As I do so, my right foot is going to come up into a crane stance position. This is going to be a chambered position for a kick. Okay? So, my hand movement now is going to be a left inward parry. As I do this left inward parry, I'm going to punch through his ribs. Now, the book write up on this technique states a center knuckle fist, sometimes called a phoenix fist. And they state that it's a phoenix fist or a center knuckle fist rake through the ribs. I don't do that. Okay, I uh, was fortunate enough to be taught uh, by uh, a very uh, skilled Kempo practitioner uh, who told me that one time he actually did a center knuckle fist rake and he peeled off the skin uh, over his knuckle, exposing the bone. And uh, that's not something that you need to happen in a street fight. And uh, to be honest with you, a punch is going to be just as effective, if not more so. Okay, so my first movement without him doing anything is this. I'm going to step, parry, punch, chamber the leg. Step, parry, punch, chamber the leg. Okay, there's a lot going on in this first move. Everything, the timing is all one count. I parry, I punch, I land, and I chamber all on one count. Okay, so as the punch comes, bang. So now, where I'm positioned here, I hit him here. My right leg now is going to kick the, the back of the knee of his right leg. As he lands, I'm going to land into him with a hammer fist right to the kidney. And I want my leg to come in and check him really right on his tailbone. Now, when you hit something in the kidney, what's going to happen is his head is going to pop back up. And that's going to feed my final strike for this technique, which is going to be a, an elbow sandwich. Palm strike, elbow smash, cross out on the guard. First count, one, two, three. I'm landing with that marriage of gravity as I hit. When his head pops up, immediately come in for that elbow sandwich. So now we're going to do this at street speed. Yeah! 